Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to another video. All right, let's check it out. Let's see what we got for you today. Hey, if you like these British cars that they represent England because of the brand, but it's not the most good memories that we have about this model. Let me be a little bit more specific. What we have for for you guys right now it's a 143 scale jaguar xj now this is the very latest the last generation of the xj model what i meant before about we may not have memories a lot of this model like that even though it's a very new model so they were sold until 2019 it's because this is not the iconic Jaguars that we all remember. The one with the round headlights or the classic one back in the 80s. Those were the ones that kept their model for many, many years. And a lot of people, when they talk about Jaguar and about the XJ, this is usually not the model that one I remember the most. Not to say it's not a beautiful car, because it is. I always liked this model. I really did, especially the rear end. It, I really like the way they stretched the tail light all the way down to the rear fender, the rear panel, I'm sorry, the rear end. And um, it's luxury to the fullest. Not the most reliable, unfortunately not. Jaguar has never been the most iconic when it comes to being reliable. And especially when they were owned by by Ford. If I'm not mistaken, this is a is a luxury car that used to belong to the Ford Corporation. I mean, the brand Jaguar used to be part of Ford for a while. I'm not sure if it still is, but I don't think it is. But again, going back to this model, like I said, it's the last generation. So we talk a, lot, a little bit more about the XJ model, Jaguar XJ. They has been being produced since 1968 all the way down to 19 to 2019, which is the, the one that we're looking at right now. This specific model right here, it is the fourth generation. They call it the X30 X351, which he ran from 2010 all the way down to 2019. Some of them had, there was a white one that was truly attractive. It looked kind of like a two-tone color because it was like a white, but since the roof is all glass, most of it, it looked like a white and black top. It was very, very, very attractive, very fashion. And the interior, not to say the least, Jaguar has always been very, into the, the looks and the more luxury items the car has, the better for them are. So I remember back in the days, those classic Jaguars even had tables for the rear end. They used to fold like, like the like the airplanes, they had tables and stuff like that. Things that make you wanna know their luxury cars to the fullest. Now, <clears throat> let's talk about engines. Let me. Let me actually talk about years. Years sold. Like I said, it was sold from 2010 all the way down to 2019. For a moment, they had a plan to make an electric version out of it, but it was canceled, just so you know. Um, issues. Oh, no, not issues. I'm sorry. People that used to use this car, by the way, so you know, it was one of them was by the Prime Minister, the British Prime Ministers. Uh, also, back in the days, not this model, but back in the days, also by Margaret Thatcher, John Mayer, Tony Blair, and Gordon Brown. Hey, that's interesting. I guess it was a car for the important people, the people with money, being so luxurious. Obviously, you want to make sure either the Jaguar, the Range Rovers, cars that represent the British um, industry. 
All right. By the way, they only made it as a four door sedan, or they say in Europe saloon. So no had no uh, two doors here, no station wagons. They kept it very simple, which you know you want to make sure. Some of these luxury cars, they don't have ten different options like other 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 models that they have so many options to offer. Engine wise. Uh, it was a 3.0 supercharged V6. They had also the 5.0 liter, uh, yeah, 5.0 liter gas V8. So you had a big engines, you know. Obviously, these were big cars. These are cars that they weighed it. It was a big, you know. And plus, since being luxury, you're gonna have the power. All right, guys, I'm going to let it go around a few times, and I'll be right, right back. All right, guys. So, what do you guys think about these Jaguars? Do you think Jaguar lost all the? I don't know. I would say the. There's distinct touch to their vehicles. Do you think Jaguar is not what it used to be before? Even with their looks, you know. I obviously we have to all. The, all these models have to evolution. You have to get better. You have to get better attractive. And Jaguar was already probably pulling the, the classic XJ that before they had a little too long. But maybe they could have done a refreshed, much modern, but kept it a little bit closer to what they used to look. So people could resemble, okay, this is this car. Okay, this is the Jaguar. You know, these, are these cars right here, not everyone could have said they were Jaguars. You know, some people thought they were Japanese, because it could have been like a Toyota or a Lexus. Other people thought it could have been, I don't know, a Ford, which kind of pulls their, you know, because it has a bit of a Fordish look to it, especially the front end, to my opinion. But there was, you know, that's what I can say about the car. But still a very quite attractive car. All right, guys. Don't forget to comment below. Let me know what you guys think about these Jaguars. Do you remember them? Do you still see them around? Were they appreciating your country? Or they were just uh, uh, the last straw to get away from buying a Jaguar? Let me know where you guys are from, what diecast or resin models you collect, or what scales. And don't forget to give me that beautiful thumbs up that I always appreciate. Thank you so much for following me and commenting below. I really appreciate every everyone, everyone's comments. And thank you for taking the time. I read each and every one. Believe me, I do. I do it now as a small time creator. Even if one day I get to be a big creator, I will still do it. Because 
you have to keep in touch with whoever's following you and you have to read what people think. I love reading people's thoughts. It's just a matter of, you know, understanding. Some creators forget what they where they come from <laughs> and how they build up their their YouTube page. My thought. All right, guys, don't forget to click and subscribe and click the bell next to the subscribe subscribe button. Take care of yourselves more than ever and goodbye.